So thanks a lot, Jack, for your kind introduction. Um, and good morning and good afternoon, uh, everyone. Welcome to our webinar, Microinjecting CRISPR. My name is Rudolf Walczak, and um, we are very pleased that Ben has accepted our invitation to speak here today. So let's have a brief look um, at the objectives for today's talk. Um, we would like you to learn about experimental options that you have with CRISPR and genome editing. Um, we want to give you practical tips and recommendations um, for creating animal models using CRISPR. In addition, we'll have some um, short information um, so that you can understand better key aspects for choosing the right microinjection instruments. Um, and of course, at the end, you will have the chance to ask your questions regarding CRISPR microinjections. Um, today's talk is divided into three parts. Um, so the first part will be um, presented by Ben. Um, it's termed microinjecting CRISPR. After that, we'll have a, a shorter part, um, choosing the right microinjection tools. Uh, and in the, the end, we will have a Q&A session. So, but before we go into the first part, um, we have our first uh, of three poll questions. Um, and we would like to um, know from you and ask you, with what species or model organism are you primarily working? And of course, conducting your CRISPR experiments or planning to do your CRISPR experiments in the future. Um, and before we go to the selection screen, the options are number one, using mouse, number two, human cells, uh, of course not zygotes, um, number three would be other mammals, for example, rat, four would be Drosophila or Cynoraptitis elegans, five, um, zebrafish, Medaka or another fish, six, plant cells, or seven, another model organism. So please um, select the option that applies to you. Um, mouse, human cells, other mammals, Drosophila or C. elegans, zebrafish or another fish, uh, plant cells or another model organism. We'll give you a few seconds to make your choice and then we'll go to the results. So thanks for making your selection. We go to the results. Oh, actually, I should choose one as well. So thank you very much. Um, the majority of you is uh, using mouse as a model organism, um, almost 55%. But it's very interesting for us to see that there are also uh, many other researchers that have other systems. Um, and um, of course, some of the aspects or many of the aspects that we will present today um, will be relevant, not just for mouse, but of course also for, for your research. So, as it happens, we have a mouse expert as the speaker for today, um, and uh, with this, I would like to hand over to Ben. Hello, everyone. Um, so, my name is Ben Davis. I'm at the Wellcome Trust Center for Human Genetics in Oxford at the moment. So, good morning, good afternoon, or wherever you are. Um, so I'm very pleased that uh, the mouse came out top because a lot of what I'm going to tell you today is all about mouse microinjection. Uh, but for others working in different systems, I think broadly speaking, a lot of the messages and the, and the strategies I'm going to refer to are actually common. I mean, I think they can be applied to many different organism systems. So today I'm going to take you through the principles of nuclease-mediated genetic modification. Um, of course, CRISPR-Cas9 is only one. 